What's up, MK gang? It's your girl, Mia. And it's your boy, Keese. And today, we are back with a whole different type of video. Yes, sir. This video is kind of personal, right? Yeah, it's a little, this is the real us right here. It is. This is just us basically explaining what we got going on right now. Why do we have this going on right now? And mm -hmm. is it that serious right. to be doing what we're doing? So... Somebody had commented on one of my videos and she asked me, why are you doing all of this just to have a baby? Right. I know some people are younger that's watching this video, so this might be a good informational vi video for you, you know? Definitely. So, might and some people good. are older and you still might not know right. stuff, you know, yes. about this type of stuff. Right. So I'm basically going to explain to you to what's going on with me, what happened with me, what happens with other women. So I'm going to start off with my story. So I was young uh high school you know I, I had talks with my mom you know she always used to let me know like you know if you ever want to lose your virginity or you ever thinking about having sex or anything like that let me know i'll put you on birth control you know and you know i got an older sister so i know how other things can happen if you don't tell your parents and how mad your parent to be whatever whatever so when i was like a freshman I decided to tell my mom, like, you know, I don't know if I want to have sex, but I thought about it before and all my friends are doing it. So can I get on birth control? So my mom thought the most responsible thing to do was for me to get on a shot. She didn't want to do the pills because I might forget to take the pills. And I didn't really know about all the rest of the birth control, like the little nexaplan and all that. I don't do surgery. So my mom put me on a shot. Yep. Now, if anybody's on the shot, and babe, you got sisters. Yeah. So, I remember all that time. You know, I, well, I remember hearing, yeah, just. Yeah, and you know how mom, you know, right. if you go do something, make sure you get on birth control because you're not about to bring no baby into my house. So, I was about 13 or 14 years old. I was a freshman. No, I did not start having sex when I was a freshman, but everybody else was. And so, I wanted to be, you know, on track. So, whenever that time came for me. Right. So, my mom put me on the shot. If you girls know when you want a shot, you got to get that shot every three months, like consistently, back to back, every three months. If you know if the, if you miss a shot, they'll give you some pills until you get your shot because it's that serious. Well, the shot, the birth control shot, stops your body from producing eggs. You know, so that the egg won't drop and you won't get pregnant. Mm -hmm. So, for me, what I was told was since I was on that shot for that long. Since you was a freshman? Since I was, you know, I was that young and I got them consistently, y'all. I went to Girls Inc., so <laughs> they didn't play. They would put you on a bus, take you to Planned Parenthood, and everybody got their birth control shots. So, no, I didn't know that was going to affect my body. I didn't know that one day in life I was going to, you know, get pregnant and it was going to be an issue, you know, because I'm, I'm young. I was young. So, basically, when you want a shot, you don't even have a cycle. Your periods, they disappear. So... <laughs> Man, didn't have a period for like, man, how long? For like years. Right. Till I met you. And how old was I when I met you? I, I still never had a period. Uh, like 1920? I almost thought, like, this dude probably think I'm weird because, like, I'm the only girl that don't go buy tampons, you know. Well, I know those other girls too, y'all, but, you know, yeah. he got sisters, you know. Right. So, basically, I'm going to start off from the beginning. I was too young already, wanted to have a baby, whatever. This is with my son, Baby Keith. So I went to the doctor. I told her, like, you know, I want to have a baby. You know, I don't have periods. You know, I'm not ovulating. And she was like, well, you're young. It'll happen, you know. And you know, that's everybody. It'll happen. Oh, yeah. You're young. It'll happen. They'll tell you anything. they tell you anything just to make you just go on with your life. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't want to wait because, I don't know, I felt like I loved him. Yeah, we were too young. I feel like I loved him. I feel like I really wanted to have a baby. I wanted to have a son. Da, 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 da. We both wanted to do it. We both wanted to do it. So, I went to my doctor, Planned Parenthood, and they gave me some uh, pills to start my uh, period or whatever. Period can. Then they gave me, like, five more pills to um, make me ovulate. Well, just so happened, I got pregnant. So, that welcomes baby Keith. Right. You I know agree. what I'm saying? Oh, and it's crazy, y'all, because I was telling him and telling him, like, babe, I think I'm pregnant. I think I'm pregnant. He probably looking at me like, girl, didn't no pills get you pregnant. <laughs> you, ain't, you ain't had no period. You ain't been ovulating. We've been doing this, this and that without a condom. You know what I'm saying? Just being straight and raw with it. And, babe, you know about that? You know about that? You know about that? You're not pregnant. And I'm like, babe, I'm pregnant, y'all. So now at this point, I'm thinking, like, dang, just a couple pills. Right. Ten. Five to start the period and five to make you ovulate. God. So, had my baby, da 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 da, fast forward, uh, it's been five years now, right? 
Four years. Four, four and a half. Four and a half years since we had them. So, of course, my stupid self gets back on the shot after I have my son. I mean, the pain was too bad during labor. I said, you know what? I don't want no period. I don't want no kids. Uh -uh, I'm dumb kids. We dumb kids, huh, babe? He agreed. We was like, we dumb, babe. I mean, we got our son. Yeah, we was ha we felt complete at the time, like we did, no and it was just fun. Yeah. Oh man, that was a day. It, it wasn't much more we wanted. Really, and, and I, I'm not even gonna lie, y'all. Before I even had baby keys, mm -hmm. um, I was cool with the no period thing. So after I did, you know, get my baby. I was thinking, oh, no periods again. Let's do this. Right. So I got I got back on the shot, y'all. Four years. Just decided to stop. Well, now I want to have a baby. Now, I'm older. Things are a little different. I'm on the internet. I'm looking up, you know, everything. I'm looking up stories. I'm looking up fertility treatments. I'm seeing the cost. I'm like, oh, my God, this ain't going to happen. You know, I'm scared to ask babe. All that. But I'm 25 years old. I'm 24. And so we ready. Yeah. You know, we, we, our son is four years old. I feel like we. I ready. feel like I we had a time like in our ready. life where we ready. Yeah, it's, and my son. It's been perfect. I'm not gonna say too much about my son right now because that's a whole different story that I'll tell y'all about. But he, you know, I know he want more. He want kids around. Yeah, basically, he, he wants somebody around. to play with. He wants somebody to help. He don't you want, know, he don't want to be the only child no more. He, he don't. He didn't got spoiled enough. He. I'm sure he want to have some fun with running around with it. And we see how he act when like our friends bring their kids over. Like this boy go bonkers, y'all. Oh he go get God. toys. He share toys. <laughs> he go get them juices out the fridge. He, didn't ask. Like don't do, don't go get, don't touch my waters. He do stuff that we ain't never seen him do when he got people around. That's crazy. He do. So and that's I, my baby. So that's and why we we feel like it's our time for us and for him. We feel like why wait? Why wait? Because I'm ready. I want a daughter. You know, if I I'm if ready. I don't get a daughter. You know, we're going to have two sons, you know, little ponytails on the top of their head. I'm going to drop a picture of my baby, too, y'all, because he's so handsome. Yes. He's so handsome. But so uh, one day, you know, I asked him, I'm like, babe, can we go get a, um, what is it called, babe? Consultation. A consultation at a fertility clinic. Mm -hmm. And he's just like, you know what, babe, look, all we can do is do it. You know what I'm saying? We, we can just see what they got to say. Yeah. Never, so, never hurts to try. It how much was that, babe? I promise you that was so expensive. Was uh, it four twenty five? It was three twenty five. Three, three. Yeah. Okay, it was three twenty five. And if I can uh, find all the receipts, because they give us receipts for everything, I'm gonna try to make sure we get the correct pricing for everything. But I'm pretty sure we giving y'all rough estimates. But if we find the receipts, we are gonna drop down. So, ends up going to that appointment. Ladies, real nice or whatever. She gives me an ultrasound because you gotta figure out why somebody's not getting pregnant. Besides them just not releasing eggs and not having periods and stuff like that. So, she gave me an ultrasound. And on the ultrasound, like on my ovaries, it was like a bunch of cysts. Like just a bunch of cysts. A bunch of them. And when you got cysts like that, they call it PCOS. Mm -hmm. So, she told me, like, you have PCOS. She was like, you know, that's fine. We, we gonna help you. We gonna get you pregnant. People got that all the time, you know. She even told me, like, there's people your age right now that are probably trying to have kids. And it's not working. And they, and they thinking, oh, it's my fault. Or always his fault. Right. But they could have been on birth control for a lot of years yeah, and it just right. created cysts. It just created cysts all over your ovaries to where, you know, ain't no eggs dropping. Mm -hmm. So after that appointment, she put me like on a pack of like birth control pills or whatever. She wanted me to like shut everything down, get rid of the ovaries. I mean, not the ovaries. <laughs> get rid of the cysts and like start off like Fresh. a whole cycle yeah you know, we get the body get the body going get the body flowing get it ready for pregnancy right you know my baby he is 24 years old my baby healthy okay honey but he still had to do like it's something that they call a semen analysis mm -hmm. so my baby had to go you know into their little special room and uh yeah. do his thing i do my little thing had to do his little thing you know, and if you know you know they called him back and he had great results. I'm talking about I saw them doing the little, oh the little she, the shmurda dance. The doctors was happy for me. I they was, I mean, I said they better not, hey. they better not steal none of them. Right. They better not be having no babies. Don't play. So me and babe did that. So right now, y'all, the next steps are coming up. Mm -hmm. But I did. I'm gonna tell y'all the next steps and how this is all gonna work out and how it's all gonna go. But I just wanted to say, like, before you go around asking somebody like why you got to do all that or is it that deep and you know questions like that you got to think about it like this y'all when you fat whether you're a man whether you're a woman when you're fat you can go work out right but instead if you got the money you, you go go get that surgery right you go you, you go you go you go go get it because you want it right you want it that bad to where you go spend that money to get results. it done you want fast results and i'm saying that because i had surgery before after my son my babe 
he hooked me up and got me surgery. So why would he hook me up and give us another baby? Right. You see what I'm saying? Why not? If you can, why not? It's, it ain't no different than doing anything else. Right. If you're hungry, you're going to buy food. And honestly, I feel like even having to pay to do it, it's, it's a bigger blessing. Yeah, and, and It's a bigger blessing. And we didn't look at it as paying. You know, it, it's, it's, it's just a cycle. It's a cycle for us. You know, we didn't look at it like, oh, we... It's not no price limit on nothing like that. No. And and guess what? When our kids grow up, I'm going to be able to tell them, like, we wanted you. Like, you know, mm -hmm. you, I, I, still hear, I still hear stories when moms be like, you was an accident. Right. Right? Or I, I didn't even want to have a baby by your dad. Right. Like, I should have just got rid of it. Uh-uh. We never going to have to go through that because Normal each time different. we both looked at each other and said, I want a baby. You want to go do this? And you, he was like, let's go do this. Let's do this. So even when we argue. We ain't never argued about nothing like that. He has always been a dad to my kids because he knew what he was getting himself into mm -hmm. when it was happening. On the jump. We, we agreed on everything yep. we do. And y'all, I do really want to, like, let him know, like, I appreciate him. Like, the stuff that I'm going through, y'all, that stuff is hard on a man. Like, y'all, one day I woke up in rage. I was mad because the doctor was making me start these birth control pills. I broke every picture in the house. I said, why am I on birth control when I'm trying to... I, I'm not trying to control birth. I'm trying to have a baby. I'm trying to do this right now. But he held my hand. He called the doctor back for me. He told her, like, you know, we're going to do this. It's going to take time. All that. Yeah. So I do want to say I appreciate you, baby, for being here for me. So right now, me and babe just kind of having fun because we're about to start going through this step. As soon as I get my cycle, I'm going to go to the doctor, get an ultrasound, make sure all my sisters are gone. And then... <laughs> And then, guys, we have this. You want to show them, baby? Yes. I'm just gonna go that way. This is the next step. Can y'all can y'all see that up in there? Yeah. All right. You want to explain to them what this is, babe? This. Uh, I'm gonna try to get a little bit in detail because I know baby knew a little more about me. But this is the injectable pen. We had to go to a, a class for on injectables and how to do it and all that type of stuff just so you, you're doing it the correct way, make sure everything is going to grow and stuff the right way. But this is the pen that she has to inject herself with for how many days? Ten. For ten days. In the same area, y'all. And yes. I mean, like, not in the same exact spot, but in the same area. And not only that, he has to give me the shots. Yes. So shout out to babe, y'all, because I'm not giving nobody no shots. That's so why. for ten days straight my husband will be giving me a shot now y'all this shot is going to make my eggs grow so big i can have saying. one egg or i can have four yeah. so there's a possibility of twins triplets quadruplets whatever mm -hmm. but i mean it is what it is y'all and my doctor did tell me you know i'm have to sign like a little paper you know that says if i have too many you know right. i might have to terminate a couple i can't be having five babies right i'm too little you know risk. but yes this pen my baby is going to give me shots for 10 days. Yes. Okay. When that 10 days is up, when I go to the doctor, y'all. Do, do you want to tell them how much the pen costs? Okay, y'all. And this this was this is, was an emotional day. We walked up into Cole's pharmacy because you have to go to a special pharmacy. Yes. And you got to go to a special <sighs> doctor, a fertility doctor, to, to go through this type of procedures. Like, this is not just. This ain't just cheap. This ain't a regular Craig doctor. University or UNMC. This is. This is. This is real, it's real, real deal. Real deal. Yeah, so, and like, every time I walk into the doctor's office, y'all, she gives me a paper and it say, this is what's due today. Insurance does not cover nothing. It doesn't cover do. anything. Everything we pay for, we pay for out, out of pocket. pocket. And he's been paying for everything. So if it's $400, $300, $200, because certain things cost different amounts. Yeah. Ultrasounds, uh, I got to get blood work to make less. sure I'm looking good. Um, Baby. So when we went to the pharmacy, y'all, you know. We walks up in there. He getting everything ready, like everything all good, you know. So I finally stopped the man. I'm like, hold on just a second. I don't know if I'm getting this stuff today. How much is it? How much was it, babe? For that right there? Just for the, for the, uh, just for this. Just for this? It was 800 and something dollars. It was like, it was like 890. And we had, and we, and we wasn't even supposed to have it yet because what we thought we was going to start on a sooner cycle, but they pushed it back. So we kind of, well, it's, it's actually kind of good that we bought it ahead of time. So when the time do come, which is now, we already bought it. So actually, I'm, I'm kind of happy that we did that, but. Because that was a lot of money, y'all. Like, I'm talking about when I got home, I kept asking him, like, baby, you okay? Everything okay? He had to tell me, like, Jamia, 
I bought that. I yeah. want that. You need that. Yeah, you know, yeah. we're gonna get what we get from this. It's, it, you're, you're good. It's and that just feel off. like real good, y'all, it's, because it's all gonna pay off in the end. We all we both gonna be happier with the end results. We it, it, it ain't just like we said at the beginning, you can't put a price tag on certain things. You know, this is limitless. So. If you want it, you gotta go out and get it. It's just like a, a car. I feel like a baby is more important than a car. You know, you can get a little hoopty and make it everywhere you wanna go. Right. For four, you know what I'm saying? Or you can go buy a twenty-two thousand dollar car and make payments on it. I'd rather make payments on me having a baby. Yeah, exactly. But that's just what we want at this time in life. We yeah. are, we we did. We y'all see everything we do. We we have so much fun. We did so many things. We've been so many places. At this age, she's twenty-five. I'm twenty-four. And my son, son is about to be five. About to be so five. exactly. Five years like, apart. Our kids are already about to be five years apart. That is big, crazy. He's gonna be the big brother to us. Baby sister is what we hope, or baby brother, but we want to see him in big brother mode, man. You they don't get no better than that. They, they don't, don't get no better than that. But no. like every, everything costs. If you if you want to do it, y'all go out and do something. Don't ever let nobody judge you. At all. Uh, don't be offended by questions. If y'all got questions, ask me. I'll tell you everything you want to know. Mm -hmm. Everything because anything. that's just how I am. If you want to know any of the prices, it, with any of the procedures, how long do it take? I'm. She's well educated on it now. I'm pretty sure she. We go in there to the doctor, and now we sound like we already know what we're talking about, and they just. And when you got somebody like this by your side, like when you get bad news or something, it just feels good for that person to just be like, keep your, you know, keep your head yeah. up. We got this. We gonna we gonna keep going through with this, mm -hmm. and it just feel good because I'm in a fertility group on on Facebook, and I see women making posts all the time. My husband said he's tired of this. My husband just, and I just be thinking like, dang, I know that that don't, I know that don't feel good. Because when you want something that somebody else wanted just as bad as you, that feels great. Yep. And, and when you're going through them, them type of cycles, you got to straight stay on the straight and narrow. Like, you got to be tuned in because anything, you got to, you, your health and your diet, everything got to be right because it could be small things. So it's like. It could be small things. It's a real journey, but it's real Show fun. this, boo, boo Okay, this is the next app. Yep. Let's see. Let's get that up in there. Okay. Okay. This right here, you guys, after I take the other, the pin that I showed y'all, the injectable pins, after I go to my, my, you know, one of the ultrasounds and she tells me, oh my God, one of your eggs is 22 millimeters or 18 millimeters. They're awesome. You have two or three. That's when she's going to tell me to go home at a certain time. He is going to give me what you call a trigger shot. Mm -hmm. What the trigger shot is going to do is it is going to release every egg that is mature. So whether it's one or two, whether it's three, they're going to release. So after that happens, she's going to call us up. Well, let's be honest. She's going to call Marquise. Me. And she's going to tell him, you know, we need you to come to our special room. We need you sperm. to come in here and do a sperm now, you know, so we can wash all the, all the, your little guys yeah. <laughs> and um, get ready to put them in me. Yes. So then I'll come about, was it an hour or 30 minutes later? It was uh, like a. It, it, was, it was 30 minutes to an hour. I came. I know it wasn't that long. It wasn't that long. It wasn't that long. So I came actually. up there. He babe was already up there, y'all. Yeah, so because he took an Uber. Yeah, I had to take my <laughs> test first. So I got up early because everything that you do is early hours. You got to do this stuff between From like, like six to nine. Exactly. A.M. So I took an Uber already up there because she had to put baby on the school bus, and then I guess they gotta. I got to do my sperm analysis and then they clean it, and then that's when she come in for her procedure. And my procedure, y'all, it's a little bit painful, y'all. It's when they use, I know a lot of you ladies know what this is, like a little pap smear thing. They use that to open you up. And then it's like this big old long little stick that is full of his semen. They are going to stick that all the way up to where the eggs are. So, of course, you know when you have a baby regularly, you know, you have intercourse and then the sperm's just... You know, find their way up there. Well, mine ain't gonna have to find their way. They're just gonna already be yeah, sitting there, right. like, hey, to the egg, hey. Yeah, he, and he, he skipped the lunch line. Yep. <laughs> After that, I mean, she basically give both of us a pat on the back. She tell you good luck, take a pregnancy test in 14 days, and if you're pregnant, call me. So that's kind of what me and babe doing right now. Me and babe, we are not ashamed of it. If At anybody all. wants to know, I will let y'all know anything. That is just how I am, y'all. When I had went and got surgery on my stomach or whatever. People was inboxing me on Facebook, and I was telling them everything that they wanted to know. And if y'all do want to know more about that, too. Yes. Say story time. Say story account. time, but make sure you put on your lipo suction. And, we will and I will tell y'all all about that, y'all, because that story is even more crazy. Oh, like. my God. And I'm going to show y'all pictures, because I'm not ashamed. I'm going to show y'all my pictures. Yeah, we got, she got before and afters. We got the prices for all that type of stuff. We keep the receipts for everything. But if y'all do want to know more about that, make sure you put... 
put that story time in. So to all the couples out there that's struggling with fertility or, you know, you don't really know what's going on with your body, but you're scared and you know what I'm saying? You got questions. You could inbox me on social media. You could write in the comments. Yeah, it never hurts. Any of that, y'all. I don't care. I'll tell y'all anything because the most important thing for me right now is that I got him by my side through this whole thing. Right. So. And what's better? And y'all by y'all by my side too now because I just told y'all like literally everything. So it ain't no better thing. It's like we need we need more humans in the world. You know we got to make the world keep going around, and they want us to reproduce less. So now you can never not know about your body, and you can you could you you know you can not know what's going on. So just get educated on little stuff like this. You know you maybe some girls out there maybe want to have a baby and probably could have been with your partner for a while. You never know what's going on. It could be him or her. It's not. It's not always the girl either. Because mm -mm, they told it's a men in there that exactly. don't have none. So it's not. None. It's not always the female. So you just educate yourself. It never hurts to know something like this because it could. It could be a blessing for you or for your own family or for anything. And don't be afraid to speak up and tell nobody. I told my mom. I told my sister. I told everybody. If you know, sometimes somebody gonna say, "Just be patient." And I, they don't know how patient I have been. Right. So all I could do is accept what they say, but I'ma still continue to go on with what I got to do because that's just me and that's just him. That's us. So we 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 together. We felt like we can do it. So when we ready, whenever we feel like we ready for something, we gonna shoot for it. If y'all enjoyed this video, man, give this video a thumbs up. I mean. <sighs> Some people still gonna have questions, but I try to tell y'all everything. I try to explain to y'all. Babe yes. was here with me like he always is. And, well, and if y'all got any more questions, if y'all want to know more, just I'm gonna have the social media handles on there. Just just inbox her. I'm sure. So, babe, are you gonna show them when you do the shots and stuff like that? Like, you know, yeah, day gonna, one, day two, we're day three? We're gonna vlog all that. Every day of the shots, y'all can get to see that. So, from day one to day 10, we're gonna show y'all all that. When I gotta go to the doctor, I know certain stuff I can't show because we already talk with our doctors they know what we do but whatever everything that we can show we will show because we don't want y'all to miss a beat because when it's over we want y'all to be just as happy as we are and y'all gonna be happy because y'all gonna understand like when we love we love hard and we yes. love our son and uh -huh. i'm gonna love my other son and my other daughter that's our world so. that's us well make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bells y'all these videos are coming back to back i Bangers. told y'all